Hello, this is the Clock Guy. Today I have a very interesting clock to show you. I'm not sure if I can pronounce the name correctly, but it is the Atmos Clock by Gégé Le Coutre. It is Swiss made. The first one of these uh, Atmos clocks was made in around 1928 and it was originally a bellows in the back with mercury and temperature change would make the mercury expand and contract which would cause the clock to wind. Uh, there were some flaws in it and they didn't really go into production until 1936 when the Atmos really began. It's a very simple process. It's very much like any other clock that winds. You can see in the back, the in the center of the picture, that is where the mainspring sits. And then to the right of that and behind the face of the clock is the clockworks, where the gears and things that would normally be in any other clock. The only real difference is that big cup in the back on the left hand side of your screen that has a bellow in it and the bellows contract and expand based on temperature uh, differentials. The Atmos clocks today have ethyl chloride in them which boils at around 50 degrees Fahrenheit so it, in our atmosphere it would be gas but as it's compressed it's compressed into a liquid and the liquid tries to expand and as it does it pushes on the bellow which then I don't know if you can see in there there's a little chain dead center of the screen here that chain pulls and pushes as the bellow expands and contracts and then it will ratchet that um, silver tooth gear, if you can see that directly to the right of it, which is between the chain and the mainspring, and it will basically wind the mainspring just like any other clock. This clock is very similar to the um, anniversary clocks, those dome clocks that you see that have been around for many years. You can see that is the pendulum down there spinning and it's rotating on a very thin piece of steel which is the same principle as those anniversary clocks with the balls that spin around. And the reason they do this is to achieve perpetual motion it has to have very little friction and this is extremely low friction in design. The pendulum actually spins 150 times slower than the average key wind pendulum clock and it is so well made and there's so little friction in this system that I saw a figure that I couldn't believe 60 million Atmos clocks together consume less energy than a 15 watt light bulb. 60 million clocks. So there is very little friction in this system. And because there is so little friction, it will run for years. I think they have a 600 year lifespan. None of them have been around that long, but after the 80 years they've been around, they virtually have no wear to them, which also helps in servicing, where you don't really need to service them. I think they need to be cleaned every 20 years, but I'm sure there's many of these clocks that have never been serviced. The Atmos clocks that are being made today are selling for around $6,000 retail. They are plated in 24 karat gold, similar to this one. 
it is very thin gold and people moving these clocks can easily wear the gold off of the surface so you want to handle them as little as possible and if you do you handle them with gloves you don't want to put any fingerprints on it or any scratches if possible this clock is in exceptional condition there's very little wear on it or scratches now this clock was made in 1973 and as you can see by the reflections in the gold there are very little imperfections there's a light scratch here and there but they're very small they're also not very deep I guess when you buy a six thousand dollar clock you take very good care of it you can see on the top is the name of the clock and the serial number this has a serial number in the two hundred thousands The company made these clocks in this form until 1983 and then they stopped production. This is the last of the true Atmos clocks with the original design from 1928 stopped in 1983 with serial number 500,000. It is a work of art. You can see 15 jewels. The jewels, you can see a jewel right there if you don't know what jewels are. There's a pink jewel directly in the center of this picture. The jewels are put in the metal to keep the metal parts from rubbing against each other. So instead of a metal to metal uh, gear, it will have a metal to a jewel. And there is virtually nowhere. You can see it's made in Switzerland. This clock will be for sale. It has been one of my dreams to own an Atmos clock. This is one of the finest clocks you can buy today. One degree in temperature change in the room will wind the clock for two days. This clock could sit on this mantle for many years and keep very accurate time without ever being touched. That is the magic of the Atmos. This is the clock I sang. Thanks for watching.